In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to use the Titmus V4 Vision Screener equipped with TNO slides. For a printable summary, see the description beneath this video. To begin, flip the switch on the rear of the unit to the on position. Then turn the near far switch to the far position, pointing towards the mountain. Have the patient look into the vision screener. You will know they are in the correct position when the lights on the bottom right of the control panel light up. Note the light on the left indicating that the vision screener is displaying slide number one. This slide is testing the patient's binocular vision abilities. When their eyes adjust, the patient should see a combined image that looks like this. Ask the patient how many cubes do you see, and what color are they? On the record form, mark the number of cubes seen by the patient in the first section of the far point test box. Advance the slide to number 2 by pressing the plus sign on the control panel. This slide tests for visual acuity in both eyes. Say to the patient, next to the number 1 you should see three C's. Tell me what direction each of them is facing. Ensure the patient reads them as expected by comparing their answers to the reference on the record form. When they have done this, say, tell me the number of the line with the smallest set of C's you can clearly read and then read them to me. If the patient gets three or more correct, ask them to read the next smallest line. If they get less than three, have them read the next largest line. Mark the last line in which they were able to correctly read at least three C's on the record form. Slide number three and number four are similar, but test just the right eye and then just the left eye. The procedure is the same as for slide number two. Advance to slide number five. This slide tests for depth perception. When the patient sees the combined image, one of the rings in each target should seem to float. Ask the patient, does the bottom ring in target one seem to float out towards you? If no, move on to slide number six. If yes, say to the patient, tell me which ring floats out towards you in target two. Repeat for all nine targets and record the last correct answer given by the patient. Advance to slide number six. This slide tests for red-green color perception. Say to the patient, read me the numbers you see in circles A through F. Circle the last correct answer given on the record form. Note that circle F is unintelligible. Advance to slide number seven. This slide is testing for vertical foria the patient should see a combined image that looks like this. Say to the patient, when you look at the slide, you should see a red dotted line passing through a musical note with a number. Tell me which number the red dotted line passes through as soon as you see it. You'll want to ensure that the patient answers quickly as the line may appear to drift over time. Record the number on the record form. Advance to slide number eight. This slide tests for horizontal foria. Say to the patient, you should see an arrow pointing downwards to a musical note with a number. Tell me what number it's pointing at. Record the number on the record form. Advance the slide back to number one. Here we will be testing for peripheral vision. Ask the patient to raise their hand each time they see a light flash. We will test for temporal vision at 85, 70, and 55 degrees, followed by a 45 degree nasal test. On the record form, we record the total field of vision the patient was able to perceive which is the temporal results added to the nasal result. For example, if the patient was able to see all of the lights, 
their temporal field of vision would be 85 degrees and their nasal field of vision would be 45 degrees for a total of 130 degrees. Repeat the procedure for the other eye. Now we will move on to the near point portion of the test. Move the near far lever to the near position and repeat the procedure for slides 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, and 8. Record the results in the near point box of the record form. Now we will complete the intermediate portion of the test. Change the near far lever to the far position and slide the intermediate lens into the vision screener. Repeat the procedure for slides 2, 3, and 4. Record the results in the intermediate box of the record form. After completing this, the patient has finished the test and may be excused. Compare your record form to the proper section of the job standards book. If any of the results land in the pink areas of the overlay, it may be indicative of a vision issue. Do not attempt to diagnose the patient yourself. Refer the patient to an ophthalmologist for further diagnostic tests. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, refer to the cheat sheet provided in the video description or call us at 1-800-736-6334.